Hi, I'm Mike from Scout Delic, and how can you play Crossy the Road? I don't. Hi, I'm Mike from Scout Delic, and this month, this year, Spice Up Your Scouting, do something different, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> um, it's got tons of game activities, you name it, it's all on there and it's all to inspire you and do something different with your scouting. Today I'm going to teach you how to play the game Crossy the Road. Okay, so we've all possibly played uh, Crossy Roads, uh, which is an app game that you play like a chicken and you've got to, <laughs> weirdly enough, cross the road. Um, and if you're really old, I'm sorry, um, you've probably played Frogger, which is a frog jumping to cross the road. So this is a similar situation. You have um, possibly your young people crossing the road and it's also part of learning about the Green Cross Code and things like that. But it's a really cool activity and game that they can do. So if you have um, a few leaders and young leaders, then this is great. But if you don't, I will get the other groups to do this. So each of your groups, whether that's lodges, sixes or your patrols, um, have to get their whole team across the road, all right? So basically, from one side of the hall to the other, and it's gonna be the longest length. So if your hall is long like that and short like that, then they've gotta get from this side all the way to the other side, all right? And they've gotta get over three big obstacles. The first one being that you're gonna have two at either end, and they've got a ball, and they're just gonna roll the ball along the floor, and the other person's gonna roll the ball back again. Bit like one, like just traffic, just one bit of traffic, okay? Very easy to do, okay? Just one ball going across. The next lot you're gonna have is uh, t two balls constantly going, okay? Rolling across the floor. And then the last stage before they get to the end is not rolling across the floor, they're throwing it. So you might need like sort of uh, a couple of people either end as well, okay? So this is where if you've got the young people or the adults, then you could have them on the side. But if not, you can have the other um, like sort of groups actually sat on there doing either the rolling or in this case, the throwing. So the group can either go all en masse from one side to the other, or alternatively, they could be their own individual. So the group that has the most gets the most points. So you could, if each group has like sort of five, you could give like sort of two points for every single person. And if you get your whole group across, then you actually get like a bonus or something like that. The game lets them obviously look both ways whilst they're crossing. They also have like a bit where, you know, they can rest before they get onto the next bit and a rest before they get onto the next bit. So you, need, you don't need to pack them all together, give them a bit of, so you know, you have the, the rolling ball, then a bit of space, then the balls that are going constantly, and then a bit of space, and then the ones that are actually throwing it in the air. It's a really simple game to do. It's really fun, but, and here's the but, no one can jump, all right? You can't jump over a car in reality if it's coming towards you. You've either got to move forward, Oh, that's it. In Frogger, you only could move forward. I think in uh, Crossy Roads, you can actually move to the side and everything else. But yeah, they can't jump. So if the ball is coming to them, they can't jump out the way. They've got to move forward. And if that means that they're going to get hit by the other ball, then they're out and they've been hit by traffic. It's a really simple game to do, but it allows you to have that conversation about looking both ways, talking about the green cross code, and all that that they need to realize that when they are crossing the road they need to look both ways they also need to whilst they're crossing the road look both ways look stop listen and all that that's why the first one is just one ball going across because it's very simple you know you see it coming the one where it's two well whilst you're crossing there's another there's another ball going the other way so you know you need to remember when you're crossing the road, even though one's gone by, you've still got to keep on looking. And the last one is that it's it's constantly going very quickly and very fast. So you've got to make that judgment of how to get across. But there we are, really simple game, really fun, it can tie into obviously bird safety and everything else. And there we are. If you've enjoyed that, then give it a thumbs up and share it around. And I'll see you again soon for the eyes. Bye.